Uh, what efforts do we make to ensure effective utilization of the feeds that we have spent a lot of money on? We mustn't sile our feeds and we mustn't file our, uh, sile our concentrates to be able to optimize utilization. Now two, how do farmers get to waste their feeds? Because you have already spent money on, on, on feeds. You have already spent money on concentrates. But when you don't ensile them, a good percentage of what you have spent your money on passes through the system of an animal into the cow dunk and utilized. Take for example maize jam or dairy meal that has a lot of maize jams and those kind of stuff. When you take, when you buy maize jam for every 100 shillings that you spend on dairy meal or maize jam, and aided, your animal will only utilize between 25 to 40 shillings of every 100. And the rest of, the rest which is about 65 to 75 shillings out of every 100, normally passes through the system of an animal into the cow dung as cow dung. Because it will not, a cow will not have enough time to completely degrade it and then be able to extract it completely to the point where very little will go out and be declared as residue. And that is why farmers who feed dairy meal and maize jams will always find that their animals have cow dung that has a lot of remains of dairy meal or remains of maize jam. And that is manifested and animals that, like birds or chicken would go scavenging for the remains in the cow dung because they always know that the animals that are being fed on this stuff never gets to utilize it enough. So the rest is given to them and they leave them there. Two, in Kenya, East Africa, or basically Africa, most of the hays that we have, most of the napier grass that we have, most of the fodder material that are used to feed animals are highly fibrous. They are highly ligneous because we don't pay careful attention to the right stage of harvesting the fodder. Normally we go beyond the right stage of harvesting maize, the right stage of harvesting uh, uh, hay, the right stage of harvesting napier, and we harvest highly ligneous material that normally does not get to be wholly degraded because lignin is an anti-nutritive factor that locks up the energy, locks up, locks up the protein, locks up the minerals, locks up the trace elements that are there in the feed that we have grown. As a result of that kind of wastage, you will find cow dung that is highly fibrous. Anytime you see a heap of cow dung, it has a lot of fiber. It has a lot of remains of dairy meal. The cow is telling you that she is not getting enough time to degrade that feed material, to break it down to utilizable states. And most of it passes before it has been completely been degraded. And that is the reason why most of your money, a good percentage of it, is found outside there in the cow dam. How do you make sure you don't waste your feed through undigested feeds that are visible in the cow dam? The solution to that is always to fast and sile the feed, and sile your napier grass, and sile your hay, and sile every fodder that particularly are non-leguminous, and sile them so that they will be degraded ahead of being ingested. Then you will not see fiber in the cow dung. Then you will not see remains of maize in the cow dung. Then you will not see remains of uh, 
of dairy meal or wheat brands in the cow dung. Because whatever you see there, it will not help your animal because it passed through the system with the energy it had. It passed through the system with the dairy meal it had. It passed the, through the system with the benefits that you spend your money to buy. Anybody growing fodder is not growing fodder. Is growing the energy in the fodder. Is growing the, 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 the protein in the fodder. Is growing the minerals in the fodder. Is growing the vitamin in the fodder. And is growing good quality fiber. And that will, in most cases, come with some water, which would still have some benefit to the animal. 